Any sort of symbol or whatever, you know, if it makes an impact like that, then it's, um, it's powerful and we're lucky to have come across it, really. The group of Anglo Argentinos has said to everyone, we can be together, we can do something good together, we can show the power of love and music and that's it, and things like that. The idea of the two flags was supported by the Drayton's and we all agreed because we thought it was a perfect message, a uh, message of harmony, friendship and something that everyone should, should embrace. Yo los conocí eh, por intermedio de, de un hermano mío que es periodista y que hizo una nota y, y, y nos llamó mucho la atención el tema de las dos banderas. Eh, y bueno, les mandé un mail eh, y como, como una cosa este, así, como esas cosas que se dicen sin pensar, ojalá un día puedan ir a tocar a las Malvinas y quizás eso ayude a mejorar un poco las relaciones con la gente, entre nosotros, a vincularnos de una manera más abierta, pacífica, por el lado de la música. And the first time he saw the bass drum, he knew exactly what it was about. And he was like, there's, there's an Argentinian and a British in a band who are making music. How, how brilliant is that? And completely got on board with us. And it's him who suggested it. Well, the only comments I heard really that this band were coming here and the usual thing was, you know, that because it was an Anglo-Argentine band there were a few mutterings about that. Comentarios no no escuché ninguno antes de, de que vengan. Lo que sí tuve llamados preguntando si sabía algo al respecto porque algunos de los integrantes eran argentinos, pero yo no no tenía ni idea. The Falklanders are um, uh, conservative. Uh, they think a lot, but they don't always talk. El revuelo que había causado nuestra llegada, producto de lo que nos enteramos eh, a través de, del Penguin News. Un pequeño artículo que hace una mención o, o sugiere que nosotros teníamos algún tipo de vinculación y, o que nuestra gira tenía implicancias políticas. Es lo que siempre va a pasar, últimamente, que, que van a tener gente que van a estar un poco sospechosa, que van a haber o, otro intento de la parte del gobierno argentino para presentarse uh, de una forma amicable feel a threat from absolutely everything that comes over from this way, over there I think. Whether it's just to shake hands, they're still scared. 
creo que la mayoría de la gente de acá no tiene, no tiene problemas con, con encontrarse con, con la gente argentina, pero es un problema de gobiernos que se transmite. De hecho fue lo que más me gustó de tocar Malvinas, de tocar aire libre. Creo que lo más, lo más exótico, porque ¿quién toca el aire libre en las Islas Malvinas? Sound checking, all right? And we're gonna go to the radio station and announce it, broadcast it, all right? So, first gig in the island, Stanley Arms. Shape line inside of me. We didn't really know what to expect, um, but nonetheless we, we resolved to come here and do the best we could and play as hard and as well as we could and just um, enjoy it as well. Siempre fuimos conscientes que más allá del, del hecho artístico, del evento cultural, había una, un trasfondo que eventualmente sería decodificado en términos políticos, sociales o filosóficos, por decirlo de una manera. I think some people have um, been concerned about um, the band coming here and it being worried about, um, for instance, if you go on the, the website, it says, um, you know, Falklands, it's Las Malvinas, and um, there's the Argentine and the British flag together, which for British people might not be so offensive, but for a Falkland Island, it could be seen, you know, trying to, I think some yeah. people describe it as sort of a soft PR kind of exercise. You yeah. Know, like, how would you respond to people's concerns about the sort of Argentinian links to this Falklands tour? Well, it's, it's a funny one because it's something that we've only kind of got our heads around in the last, well, in the last sort of few months of planning and when we mm. knew that we were finally going to come here. Um, because as people, I mean, we were all born after, the, you know, the conflict. Uh, no, political you know. issues. It's just an artistic um, mm. 
uh, achievement and uh, artistic, yeah. you know, project well, and same. bring music maybe to a corner of the world where maybe it's not that usual to receive bands like us. We always, at the top of our list, was didn't, and, and this is something that we do every time we play anywhere. Really, is we want it to be a fun experience for everyone who comes. We don't want to tread on anyone's toes, or you know, uh, offend people with with uh, by doing things that might, you know, be offensive, such as putting up yeah. the, the flags, because we understand that some people here might not be. Uh, too happy about happy that, but, but these are things that we've been doing for, well, we've been together now as a band for three years and mm -hmm. that logo's been there since the beginning. But, um, obviously um, you probably wouldn't have done this if you were four English guys and saying that you know, you're in Argentine, yeah. that this happened really. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's that connection, I think that's definitely yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's connection and that's why the logo is where it is as well, yeah. which uh, in fact in the context the flags have put together is because it's an artistic it's music behind it. It's, just, it's not political. It's just it just change all. It changes all the political meanings of it. Mm. That's, just, that's, just the, that's the that's the that's the trick. No, it's just a shame that, that in some way there's uh, like four guys playing music, it's all got bogged down in sort mm. of political stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. A Carlos lo conocimos cuando, cuando arribamos a, al aeropuerto. Una idea tan extraña como la nuestra. Él nos dijo los motivos por, lo, por el cual estaba yendo a las Islas Malvinas, que era para casarse. Más extraña que la nuestra, ellos iban a casarse a, a las Islas Malvinas, siendo que Carlos era un excombatiente. And, um... It was just ridiculous, actually, because the, the guy getting married was in the same regiment with Gabriel Casaga Stilmi in the war. So they, knew, they were like, I know you. And he's like, I know you. So that was even what made the trip even more special. Y eso fue espontáneo. Y yo estaba ahí. Y todos dijimos, bueno, tocamos. Tenemos que tocar en tu casamiento. Que pobre, ellos ni se imaginaron todo lo que iba a ocurrir cuando dijeron, vamos a casarnos a, a, a Malvinas. Eh, por otro lado, había otro excombatiente. Eh, que hoy por hoy es pastor evangélico, que terminó casando a Carlos y Claudia. Y de repente se encontraban con que tenían una banda tocando en su casamiento, un, padre, un pastor evangélico casándolos, además del civil en, la, en el town hall, en el salón municipal. Un ex combatiente que abrió esa costumbre que le sale el testigo y eh, eh, la casa de Tony Blake y Marila Blake que terminaron organizando una fiesta en su casa y a donde además invitaron prácticamente a toda la isla. And we just we had an amazing night and everybody was there, you know, all weddings are the same, you know, they're just full of love and people. You know, just want to have a good time. And, you know, I'd like to think that we we made it really. Muy emocionante y muy lindo tocar en la casa de alguien. Todos así muy justo bailando y todo madness, sabes. Esto me gusta muchísimo. Everybody, everybody does. Yeah. And it's something and it's something that they'll remember forever. I mean they're always gonna remember their wedding, but to have something like that out of, out of nowhere just you know, it was special and I'd like, I I'm so glad to be a part of it. There were a lot of good vibes after that one. Well, I think you saw for yourself how people were dancing and really enjoying themselves. It was just, you know, the name of the game as far as a lot of people are concerned. You know, we have to keep talking. I think it's excellent. I think it's um, about time we all 
it's a good way for people to make um, new friends. Um, like you say, it's friendship. And, uh, I think a lot can be come out of this. To be honest, I hope I would like I would like personally see to be see more of this type of thing. It's important that la gente puedan tratarse como seres humanos y compartir sus gustos, su música, artes o lo que sea. And so we had a wicked time and there was people at the wedding who at the beginning of the week didn't really agree with what we were doing and then four hours later at the wedding they were playing with us. Yeah. You know, so that's the that's that's the crossover we did. for us because we know that for any ex-combatant or ex-soldier, be they Argentinian or English, to come back to the scene of um, where they went through so much, so many terrible things and so much stress and the things that they saw, for him to come back here and put himself through all those emotions again, for us, for the Dreytones, it was a big, it was a humbling thing, it's a very important thing to us. And Acá vi mi tía cuando se ponía más jodido el asunto con los bombazos me metía acá abajo, así. Tengo una foto del 2006 metido acá. Lo que han sacado son las vainas. Acá hay algunas. Vainas de que tiramos nosotros. a tocar y la audiencia era en su 80% eran eran niños niños de entre 3 años y 12 y dijimos bueno tocamos con nosotros y dijimos, ah, y dijimos, listo y que no que quieren escuchar la música chicos desde 5 años, 4 años, hasta 14, 15 años, todos con las remeras de, de la French Tour. Así que tocamos un pequeño repertorio para ellos, hicimos un interludio, paramos y después... De... Empezó a llenar de isleños y, se, y después empezaron a venir de la base militar. Creo que para las 12 menos cuarto empezó a, a llenarse de gente, gente, bueno, gente que que escucha el rumor de la gente que ha recomendado la banda.
Poder de amor y de música y, 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 um, y eso, cosas positivas. La idea de las dos flags fue supported por los dragones y todos agreed porque we thought que era un perfecto mensaje. Uh, message of harmony, friendship, and something that everyone should should embrace. You met. Yo los conocí eh, por intermedio de de un hermano mío que es periodista y que hizo una nota y, y, y nos llamó mucho la atención el tema de las dos banderas eh, y bueno, les mandé un mail eh, y como, como una cosa este, así, como esas cosas que se dicen sin pensar ojalá un día puedan ir a tocar a las Malvinas y quizás eso ayude a mejorar un poco las relaciones con la gente entre nosotros, a vincularnos de una manera más abierta, pacífica por el lado de la música And the first time he saw the bass drum, he knew exactly what it was about. And he was like, there's, there's an Argentinian and a British in a band who are making music. How, how brilliant is that? And completely got on board with us. And it's him who suggested it. Well, the only comments I heard really that this band were coming here and the usual thing was, you know, that because it was an Anglo-Argentine band, there were a few mutterings about that. Comentarios no, no escuché ninguno antes de, de que vengan. Lo que sí tuve llamados preguntando si sabía algo al respecto porque algunos de los integrantes eran argentinos, pero yo no, no tenía ni idea. The Falklanders are um, uh, conservative. Uh, they think a lot, but they don't always talk. El revuelo que había causado nuestra llegada, producto de lo que nos enteramos eh, a través de, del Penguin News. Un pequeño artículo que hace una mención o, o sugiere que nosotros teníamos... Al... Somewhere very soon, and um, now it's time for us to uh, buy the, the band a drink. Yay! <laughs> I think some people have um, been concerned about um, the band coming here and it being worried about, um, for instance, if you go on the, the website, it says, um, you know, Falklands, it's Las Malvinas, and um, it's the Argentine and the British flag together, which for British people might not be so offensive, but for a Falkland Island, it could be seen, you know, trying to, I think some yeah. people describe it as sort of a soft PR kind of exercise. You yeah. Know, like, how would you respond to people's concerns about the sort of Argentinian links to this Falklands tour? Well, it's, it's a funny one because it's something that we've 
only kind of got our heads around in the last well, in the last sort of few months of planning, and when we mm. knew that we were finally going to come here. Um, because as people, I mean, we were all born after the, you know the conflict. Uh, no political you know. issues. It's just an artistic um, mm. uh, achievement and uh, artistic, yeah. you know, project well, and bring music maybe to a corner of the world where maybe it's not that usual to receive bands like us. We always at the top of our list was didn't, and, and this is something that we do every time we play anywhere. Really, is we want it to be a fun experience for everyone who comes. We don't want to tread on anyone's toes. Or you know, uh, offend people with with uh, by doing things that might you know be offensive, such as putting up yeah. the, the flags. Because we understand that some people here might not be uh, too happy about I that. But, but these are things that we've been doing for. Well, we've been together now as a band three years, and mm -hmm. that logo's been there since the beginning. But, um, obviously, um, you probably wouldn't have done this if you're four English guys are saying that you know you're an Argentine. Yeah. And so we had a wicked time and there was people at the wedding who at the beginning of the week didn't really agree with what we were doing and then four hours later at the wedding they were playing with us. Yeah. You know, so that's the that's that's the crossover we did. or ex-soldier, be they Argentinian or English, to come back to the scene of um, where they went through so much, so many terrible things and so much stress and the things that they saw, for him to come back here and put himself through all those emotions again, for us, for the Dreytones, it was a big, it was a humbling thing, it's a very important thing to us. And Tengo una foto del 2006 metido acá. Lo que han sacado son las vainas. Acá hay algunas. Vainas de que tiramos nosotros. Any sort of symbol or whatever, you know, if it makes an impact like that, then it's um, it's powerful, and we're lucky to have come across it, really. 
grupo anglo argentino ha dicho a, a todos podemos ser juntos, podemos hacer algo bueno juntos podemos, bueno, no sé, mostrar un poco el poder de amor y música y, 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 um, y eso, cosas positivas. La idea de las dos flags fue supported por los Drayton's y todos lo acordamos porque pensamos que era un mensaje a uh, message of harmony, friendship, and something that everyone should should embrace. You met. Yo los conocí eh, por intermedio de de un hermano mío que es periodista y que hizo una nota y, y, y nos llamó mucho la atención el tema de las dos banderas eh, y bueno, les mandé un mail eh, y como, como una cosa este, así, como esas cosas que se dicen sin pensar ojalá un día puedan ir a tocar a las Malvinas y quizás eso ayude a mejorar un poco las relaciones con la gente entre nosotros, a vincularnos de una manera más abierta, pacífica por el lado de la música And the first time he saw the bass drum, he knew exactly what it was about. And he was like, there's, there's an Argentinian and a British in a band who are making music. How, how brilliant is that? And completely got on board with us. And it's him who suggested it. del hecho artístico, del evento cultural, había una, un trasfondo que eventualmente sería decodificado en términos políticos, sociales o filosóficos, por decirlo de alguna manera. We really hope we can get to play again this week while we're here and uh, it's just great for, for us to be here at Big Tonight. So you guys have seen us play and we just hope it's all going to be a wicked week together and we'll see you somewhere very soon. And um, now it's time for uh, uh, buy the, the band a drink. Yay! <laughs> I think some people have um, been concerned about um, the band coming here and it being worried about, um, for instance, if you go on the, the website, it says, um, you know, Falklands, it's Las Malvinas, and um, there's the Argentine and the British flag together, which for British people might not be so offensive, but for a Falkland Island, it could be seen, you know, trying to, I think some yeah. people describe it as sort of a soft PR kind of exercise. You yeah. Know, like, how would you respond to people's concerns about the sort of Argentinian links to this Falklands tour? Well, it's, it's a funny one because it's something that we've only kind of got our heads around in the last, well, in the last sort of few months of planning and when we mm. knew that we were finally going to come here. Um, because as people, I mean, we were all born after, the, you know, the conflict. Uh, no political you know. issues, it's just an artistic um, mm. uh, achievement and an artistic, yeah. you know, project well, and bring music maybe to a corner of the world where maybe it's not that usual to receive bands like us. We always 
at the top of our list was didn't and, and this is something that we do every time we play anywhere really is we want it to be a fun experience for everyone who comes we don't want to tread on anyone's toes or you know uh, offend people with with uh, by doing things that might you know be offensive such as putting up yeah. the, the flags because we understand that some people here might not be 